hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to talk about the uh, connection between steel beam and concrete column and uh, this is the example that that i'm going to use in this video and uh, i'm going to use the idea static in order to design the steel connection and uh, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well so uh, I'm going to design this uh, connection and uh, after we install the uh, idea static add-in we can go here and uh, we can click on idea static car so uh, first we need to uh, create a, a, a blank project so uh, we can choose steel here and choose the desire uh, design code but uh, I'm going to keep it like this for uh, this example and create project and uh, next we uh, need to select uh, a node and uh, the member that uh, connected to uh, that node but uh, because we have only a steel beam here so I'm going to select uh, this uh, one only and uh, next we can click on uh, connection so uh, the idea static will import uh, the information from uh, robot social analysis and uh, we can click on here and open so uh, we have a beam here and uh, uh, we have the load combination where that were uh, imported from robot search analysis and uh, i'm going to choose the lofd and uh, next we can go to operation in order to add uh, the connection uh, member so if you choose the option base plate here the program will not uh, recognize this member because this is the horizontal member uh, this option is for uh, vertical member only but uh, we can go to a stiffening plate and uh, we need to create uh, the end uh, plate of uh, this beam so uh, we can modify uh, this plate so i'm going to choose uh, 10 millimeter thickness and i'm going to add this uh, the size of the plate and uh, next we need to cut uh, this beam uh, cut by uh, this plate so we can go to operation and use the uh, command cut and we need to choose cut by this plate and we can change the wheel size so uh, now we have the end plate of the, uh, the this beam and uh, next we can go to operation and choose ball grid or contact and we need to change the fastener here to anchors and change this to one so uh, now the program create the concrete block uh, for connect this plate uh, to the concrete block so uh, we can change the bowl here so uh, you can choose any side here but uh, I'm going to keep it like this and change this to 200 and 0 next I'm going to change the offset here to 200 but uh, you need to check the concrete uh, column size first uh, so that uh, it's a uh, match uh, with this uh, number and uh, I'm going to change this to 400 and uh, next we can change this to motor join and change the thickness and uh, I'm going to change the uh, row uh, location So uh, let's say 60 so now we have the bowl like this and next I'm going to change the position
so now we have uh, this bowl so uh, the model is complete and we can actually run the uh, analysis so now the analysis and design is complete and you can check the summary uh, result here and if you want to go to detail you can go to check here and uh, check all the uh, information in uh, this tape and uh, next you can also run the buckling analysis but I'm not going to run in this video so uh, uh, you can design this type of connection uh, like this but uh, you have to uh, verify this side uh, of the column so that it, it, it's match uh, the side of the column in the robot search analysis or any other uh, search analysis software so uh, I hope you enjoy this video and uh, Thank you so much uh, for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.